Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger, and today we're going to be talking about the Cave of the Clever, or as a lot of people uh, have all, have titled it, uh, the Chitin Cave, because you can get a ton of chitin in this cave. Now, in order to do this cave, there's a couple different things that you're going to want on your shopping list. First thing first, you're going to want your best and brightest hide armor now this hide armor it's really nothing special honestly you see it it's ascended and stuff like that but nothing here have i gotten outside of regular loot drops just around the island of the overworld loot drops so if i can get it you can get it and if you're going to be doing the uh, uh the caves i would recommend that you do at least a little bit of loot farming before you start getting into the caves once you uh, do a little loot farming you'll be able to get it but like i said the stuff i've got it's it's yeah, it's nothing it's nothing great, it's nothing amazing. It's just the best quality uh hide armor I've got. I don't even have a nice hide hat or anything like that. So I'm wearing cloth there and also cloth there. So, all right. Uh also this right here, these are just my booties because we've got a cold snap going on and it keeps me warm. All right. Uh so what you're going to need for this, well, first off, you're going to need a bunch of fiber to repair your armor. You're not going to want to wear anything into this cave that you cannot repair on the fly. Don't bring your chitin armor. Don't bring your uh, metal armor. Matter of fact, I'm going to be unequipping that fur, and we're going to be freezing to death. All right, so, uh, yeah, um, once you have that, uh, make sure you have plenty of hide to repair it, plenty of fiber, and then also I would recommend you, especially if you're playing either on your own server or a single player, make sure you set up a respawn shack. A respawn shack is simply just that. It's a box to um, carry a few things that you loot out of the inside of the cave. It's a bed, and then also it's a shack. That's it. Very, very simple. All right, so uh, now for getting into the... Uh, I'm going to come inside just the beginning of the caves where we don't... We're not freezing to death anymore. All right, when it comes to things for uh, getting into the cave, bigger is better. Now, when it comes to this cave, if a Thyla fits, a Thyla is best. If a... Uh, if a Baryonyx fits, a Baryonyx is best. If the Thyla won't fit, like right now, the Thyla won't fit, then the Baryonyx needs to fit. All right, so we're just going to take this Thyla. We're going to put it out. We're going to swap it around for a Baryonyx. All right, and a Baryonyx easily fits through, so that means the Baryonyx is better. Just remember, it's in that order of uh, um, of ascending. So, yeah, if uh, Thylacolio will fit, Thylacolio is best. If a Thylacolio won't fit, go with the Baryonyx. If the Baryonyx doesn't fit, then go with a Direwolf. Uh, if Direwolf is taking too much damage, try a uh, Sabertooth. If Sabertooth is you just don't have one or whatnot, go with a Raptor. Just remember, for this, uh, uh, a Sabertooth is always better than a Raptor just because they have higher health pool and they deal more damage. Yes, a Raptor does attack faster, which can make them okay, but yeah, it is what it is. So, yeah. All right, but now that we're coming inside of here, you'll come down here just straight down through. You'll see all these passages on the left. Ignore them for now. Um, there's one passage on the left. This one right here, when you get to this blank spot, will take you right down through there. Once in a while, there'll be some loot and also that curves around to the right. And of course, the cave is already uh, growling at me. All right. Um, and then also, since there are Onik in this cave, another thing you're going to want, you're going to want antidotes. Antidotes are kind of important because things in Ark Ascended generally tend to give uh, rabies more often than uh, they used to in the old Ark Survival Evolved. That is, if you played that. If not, just grab the antidotes. It'll make your life so much easier. Which means that you're going to have to farm a little bit of leech blood, but that'll be fine. All right, so let's get down inside of here, and we're just going to start clearing everything. Now, when you're attacking things inside caves, it's very important to don't let yourself get surrounded. Always be backing up. Put yourself into a position right like that so where we can always back up. Once you clear the stuff ahead of you, then you can come forward a little bit up to this little edge, but then always be backing up. So where they, you can hit them, but they won't be hitting you. And also, you've got just a slight enough knockback to make it so where... 
uh, th them hitting you is going to be a little bit harder. You'll still take damage, but you'll take far less damage than what you normally would. Arthopleurs, though, on the other hand, are the only thing you don't want to back away from because if you back away from them, they will destroy your armor. And then also means that while you are eating a very uh, uh, Arthopleura, means you're kind of locked in to this position. And so where if other things around you come up and start eating you, you have to stand your ground. Because if you uh, start running away from Arthopleura too much, they'll just eat your armor and then they'll eat you because they will hit you on the back of your saddle. All right, but make sure that if you're fighting that you never back yourself into a wall. Uh, there's several reasons. One, uh, if you back yourself into a wall, if other things come around, you have no method of escape because having a way of escape, very, very important. But also, uh, yeah, this, I would love to say that um, even in the original game and this one right here, the walls are not perfect. You can get pushed through the walls and then you'll just have a really bad time. So don't get pushed through the walls. Make sure you're very, very aware of that going into it. All right, so now we're gonna come down through here and I'm only clear, going to the left right here to clear these guys. Once these guys are dead, we're actually just gonna go down to the right. I just didn't want them hitting me from the back. All right, come around here to the right. And the longer an onyx stays alive, the more chance it has to give you rabies. So make sure those onyx stay dead as quick as possible. All right, and then come down here. We're still sticking to the right all the way down until it opens up. Backing up, killing things. And then with Onyx, when they, because they always try to get behind you, you can back up through them like that so where they're not circling you, but you will be, uh, um, uh, they're not circling you, so they'll they'll just be in a straight line the entire time. It makes it so much easier to take them out. All right, now we come through. All right, we're over here on the right. There's a, uh, another path to the left. Uh, you can curve around to the right, and this is also is a great way for to get XP. If you're coming in here looking for Megalosauruses, they generally spawn over there on that left side. So if uh, it's at nighttime, come to the right. Always come to the right. If it's if you're looking for Megalosauruses. Go to the left. Also, if it's during the day, you can go to the left a little bit. Just don't hit the Megalosauruses. I mean, they will get up. They will be slow, but they will pick you up, latch on to you, and make you have a really, really bad day. All right. Now, I don't want to eat these uh, dung beetles, but I think I'm going to have to because we've got to get this loot. I mean, if we're in a cave and we're going through all this trouble and there's loot right in front of us, we may as well get it. But you want to make sure that when you're getting the loot inside of a cave, that you're doing it responsibly. All right, getting in, because we might actually aggro that dung beetle. All right, but also you want to make sure that you're, you're killing all these things. So go a little bit ahead of the loot and clear, make sure you aggro everything so where it comes up to you and then you can just get it dead. And if you're on a Baryonyx, uh, it's, uh, notice we don't have any fish meat in our inventory and that's how you heal up a Baryonyx. But if you're short of fish meat, there's more piranha than you can count right down inside of there. It, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. Get down in there, do your spin, and then just harvest the crap out of them. And if you're wounded like I am right now, you get down in there and it'll literally just pop you all the way up to max health because you're eating those fish. It's pretty impressive. All right, let's get this loot. And that's how we get the ascended loot. All right, uh, so yeah, let's get through here a little bit 
and you'll notice that as we're getting a little bit closer, you'll start seeing the glow. The glow is the artifact. Alright, a lot of this stuff on the left we can actually just ignore, but if it's gonna circle around in aggros, we wanna take it out. We don't, because to get this artifact, you have to jump off your, um, off the back of your dino, and there's our rabies. That's why we carry the antidotes. Alright, but once you, uh, um, get this artifact, you have to jump off the back of your saddle. All right, and everything's coming to eat us, so we're not gonna get trapped in there. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a way of uh, escape right here. Always have a method so where if things turn south, that you can get out of the cave. That's caving 101 in art. Never ever back yourself into a wall and just let them come to you. That is, that's a quick way to die. And now the scorpion's gonna have to die because he's inside this water. And since he's inside the water, he can actually come get us. So, if our dino is on neutral, we can actually just pop off right here. And I don't want to fight those Arthoplura, so I'm going to try to cheese this. Grab the artifact. And get back on and just back right up. Alright, there is an XP box right over there, right where that scorpion's at. But we're not going to worry about it because I've already got it. But if you need it, go over and grab it. Also, behind this area, this is just a little curve around. There, sometimes there's a piece of loot right there. All right, but let's go back the way we came and come up this way. And just remember, rule of thumb with this cave, stick to the right. All the way to the right. It'll take you right to the artifact. It's super easy. It makes this cave really, really simple. And just remember, if you're short on chitin... This cave has it in spades. It's, yeah, it's it's impressive just how much uh, chitin you can get out of this cave because of the scorpions, the dung beetles, and the arthoplura. They are everywhere inside of this cave. All right, coming back up here, make sure on the way back, stick to the left. Every spot, stick to the left. All the way through. Come up here. Get to the exit. And Bob's your uncle. And we're done. Super, super simple. And then also, if you don't have a uh, um, an otter on your shoulder when you come up, here's another thing. Because we've already cleared that spot, you can actually take this artifact, throw it inside of there, and do a quick another run right down to get another one. But if you have an otter on your shoulder, you can just throw them off, throw the artifact in the otter, grab another one, and just rinse and repeat as much as you want. All right. So that is the uh, how you get uh, the artifact of the clever. I hope this video helped you out. It's step-by-step -step instructions. And uh, yeah, also get some loot along the way. So hey, I hope the video helped you out. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, take it easy, everybody.